Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez broke off their engagement, leaving behind a sparkly casualty, the ring, with an estimated cost of $1.8 million, which is still in J.Lo's possession. Should she return it? On Thursday, the couple of four years issued a joint statement to Today confirming their split, rumors of which they denied last month. We have realized we are better as friends and look forward to remaining so, read the statement. We will continue to work together and support each other on our shared businesses and projects. We wish the best for each other and one another's children. Out of respect for them, the only other comment we have to say is thank you to everyone who has sent kind words and support. According to TMZ, Lopez still has the emerald cut ring, one item among the massive amounts of jewelry exchanged by the couple, though the issue of ownership may be moot, as TMZ claims the pair are unlikely to bicker over the band, and Lopez did return the $2.5 million, 6.1 carat Harry Winston pink diamond from Ben Affleck following their 2006 breakup. Still, the right thing to do is thorny. Most states consider an engagement ring a conditional gift, it's given on the condition of marriage, Guy A. Rubb, a professor of law at The Ohio State University tells Yahoo Life. If marriage doesn't materialize, the expectation is to return it, especially if it's a family heirloom. And the cause of the breakup rarely matters, in J. Rod's case, there were rumors of the baseball pro having an affair with Southern Charm's Madison LaCroix, though the reality star claimed the two had never met, as courts rarely wade into he said she said matters. We don't ask who is at fault, says Guy, because relationships are too nuanced and complicated. Federal law also doesn't address ownership of engagement rings, he adds, with state courts and state supreme courts overseeing such disputes, although the top-tiered system only intervenes in rare and unprecedented cases.